We have exciting news. September 12th and 13th is our on-campus relaunch weekend. In-person public worship services will resume at both the Deerfoot and Southwest campuses, and you're invited to participate. It's been almost six months since we've gathered in person. In some ways, the time has flown, and in other ways, we've all experienced a sense of loss and isolation. I'm so grateful for our amazing volunteers and staff who have worked tirelessly to help keep us connected. We might not have been together inside the church facility, but we've certainly been the church, housing the homeless, feeding the hungry, discipling one another, and proclaiming Jesus. And in it all, I'm continually reminded that God is with us and He is for us. We continue to find new opportunities to serve our city and proclaim the gospel. Jesus promised us that he's building his church. Nothing can prevail against him. We've continued to follow all public health recommendations and guidelines regarding COVID-19 so that we can provide a safe environment in which to gather in person. We want to be ready when you're ready to join with us. As we enter this next phase of the journey, we're excited about what God has in store for us. Some things will be different but that will provide a great opportunity for us to experiment with a variety of engaging worship formats. As you look forward to returning to your home campus in person, here's a little sneak peek we hope is helpful in letting you know what to expect. I'm excited to see you again soon. We are so excited to welcome you back to the Deerfoot campus starting September 12th and 13th. It will be so good to be together again in person. As you may expect, things will look just a little bit different around here. And so we wanted to give you some of the information that you'll need to know ahead of time to ensure the process goes as smooth as possible. The first thing is that you can reserve and register your spot online. You can do that starting on Monday, the, the week ahead of the weekend service, and the link will be on our homepage. If your name is not in our database, there will be a digital contact card that you can fill out, and that will help the process go faster and more smooth, and it just keeps everything up to date so that we can best prepare for you. When you come to the campus on the weekend, you're going to want to park in the north parking lot, and that is the first parking lot you see when you're driving down 40th Street towards the church. If for some reason or due to some health or disabilities you need an easier access spot, you can park and get access to the building on the east side of the campus. There's a lot more things that you'll need to know, so why don't you follow me inside and, uh, and we'll keep going. So as we enter the building, we do ask that everybody puts on a mask. Now, I'm not going to right now so you can hear me clearly and because the building's empty, but everyone, we ask that you wear a mask. We do have some extras if you forgot one, but on your way in, grab some hand sanitizer and follow the footsteps on the carpet. And then we come to the COVID screening. Now you're gonna get a copy of the screening questions in your email, in the confirmation email, but we ask that as everyone enters the building that they answer these COVID screening questions so that we can ensure that we keep each other safe. So here we are at the check-in station where a volunteer or staff member will help you get signed in and, and all those kind of details. Again, if you register beforehand, it will make this process so much smoother. So we'll follow the markings on the carpet and just a friendly reminder, stay physically distanced from each other, air high fives, finger guns, winks, all that stuff is totally fine. Just don't greet each other with a holy kiss or a hug or anything like that. So as we follow the markings on the carpet and make our way towards the sanctuary, there will be an usher here waiting for you and helping you in and towards your seat. The main street washrooms are available and accessible and again there will be ushers to help with the spacing and capacity issues there. Families, one quick note, while we don't have Discoveryland gathering for the first couple of weeks, we do have activity packets available for you. You can pick them up here or you can get them online and come prepared ahead of time. So once we make our way into the sanctuary, we will wait here at the sign and an usher will come and help escort you to your seat. And we just ask once you're at your seat that you stay there. 
I know it's gonna be so tempting to greet people you may not have seen in six months, but it's really important that we stay there for the service as we worship and learn and grow together. And, and, and during the service with the singing that's going on from on stage, it's gonna be so tempting for us to join our voices in, but singing's a high risk activity. So we ask that you hum along or you clap or snap along with the music, dance if that's your thing, but worship Jesus um, in other creative ways rather than singing. And once the service is done, we will have our ushers come and dismiss us all row by row. As you exit the sanctuary, you will notice there are some giving boxes at all of the exits and there also is one available on Main Street if you like to give physically. But of course, online is still a touchless and available option on our website or on the FAC Experience app. So once we are dismissed, we will be exiting the building immediately after the service and we will be using the north doors again, the same ones we entered in on, except this time we're going to be on this side of the stanchion as we exit. Once out of the building, please feel free to have a appropriately physically distanced conversation with someone or with some people. But ultimately what we want you to know is that we are working so very hard to make this happen as smoothly and as safe as possible. And please know we are ready whenever you are ready and we cannot wait to see you whenever that may be. Bless you.